Hi guys, welcome to another session of Rappler Live Jam. I'm Bernice Tantuco. Tonight we have Zion Aquino with us. We also have his friend Mike on guitars. Hi guys, welcome to Rappler Live Jam. Thank you for having us. So Zion, you have quite an incredible story. Um, you were you're relatively new to the industry, and um, you want you were nominated for five Out Awards last year, and you're also a two-time cancer survivor. Yes. Um, so, for those of our viewers who are just getting to know you now, could you tell us a bit about your journey and um, how that's impacted your music as well? Well, um, I, I tried to join the music industry way back, probably 2005. Yeah. Joined a few contests and then struggled making it in the industry and then Finally, I decided to quit music and just join the corporate world. I was enjoying my life in the advertising industry. Fell in love with it. I didn't even think that I'd go back to the music industry. And then uh, 2012 was when I got diagnosed with cancer, and that changed things. Uh, friends, my, my friends in the music industry put up a show for me. Uh, Yan Constantino, Julia, and Mike was also part of it. And then they raised... Help, they they ra they helped me raise funds for 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 treatment, and then I realized that music has there's something about music that I can do uh, rather than just you know be something to glorify whatever ha I have or for fame or popularity. I I realized that I can do music and help other people. So I said that you know when I get well, I'm gonna start um, organizing shows and. Um, sing in fundraisers just to be able to give back. And then 2014, when I when I joined Elements Music Camp, yeah. um, I just did a demo for my now my manager Trina Balamite. And then long to cut the long story short, she asked me if I wanted to just quit music, uh, quit my advertising job and pursue music. And here I am right now. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> was it was it scary to to quit advertising at the time? I mean, that's, that's a pretty stable gig. It, it was. Um, it, it was very, very scary. Um, <laughs> very stable job. Uh, we were getting paid pretty well. <laughs> and then start from zero and in the music yeah. biz was really, really scary. But I'm still here. What for you was the most challenging part of, you know, ditching your old job and starting fresh? Um, finances. <laughs> <laughs> No regular salary, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. no medical cards to rely on. Uh, basically, that. <laughs> you also mentioned that you were joining a bunch of music competitions, uh -huh. like before. Um, do you feel that that prepared you to perform in front of crowds or to enter the music industry? Uh, I don't really know. Uh, I didn't really make it far in those competitions. I mean, the the, the ones shown on the bigger networks. Um, I, I I joined the one and then got eliminated in week one, <laughs> and then I joined a cable networks contest which I won, and then a music video show where I also won. But but you know the contract there I didn't really push through. Um, I I kind of sound different from how other singers would, would sound and that was really a struggle. They wanted me to do songs that I was uh, that I wasn't comfortable doing oh. during that time. And it didn't work out. So I didn't really know that I didn't even expect to be back in the music industry. Yeah. <laughs> well now you're winning awards. So Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I last last November twenty seventeen, you know. Yeah. Well, it was in August, I think, or June or July, maybe, where we got the news. We were nominated for five Awit Awards yeah. for my first album. And then we were, like, teasing each other about it. Tina was saying that, you know, um, I'm, I'm fine if we win just one award. But mm. even if we don't, it's it's already an honor being nominated alongside artists that I, I highly respect and, yeah. and look up to. And then, I, then one of my prayer times, I was like... Um, when I was praying for it, I was saying like, you know, maybe one award would do. But then I realized I have a big God. Why would why why would I ask for one? I said, God, I want at least three. <laughs> I got three. <laughs> so we won. He best, was listening. Yeah, I won best R and B recording, mm. best ballad recording, and best new artist. Yeah. And then the other two nominations were best inspirational recording and best male artist. Yeah. 
So, yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, we're going to be hearing um, two of your originals. Yes. Well, sort of. One two of your singles tonight. Yeah, two of my singles. One is an original from the first album. Uh, that's the song that won me Best New Artist. Yeah. And another one, which is a cover of the Songbirds original, which is now my new single. But we are starting tonight with No Diggity. Yes. A cover um, of Black Street. Yes. Why did you choose this song? I love this song. I love the groove of the song. And I'm a 90s kid. Yeah. And I think a lot of 90s kids are listening right now. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. And wherever you guys are, if you feel like singing along with us, please do. Got it all but all over town Strictly pleasure, don't play around Cover much ground Got to get my common say Get it ready, it's a forte Each and every day To lay away I can't get her out of my body but I think about the girl all the time but, but. East side from the west side Push it back to rise It's no surprise She got sticks in the stash Stacking up the cash That's when it comes to the guest by no means average, as long as she's got you happy. Baby, you're a perfect team. I wanna get in, say, can I get down so I can win? See, I like the way you work it. No diggity, need a bag it, bag it, I'd say. I like the way you work it. No, no diggity, need a bag it, bag it, I'd say. I like the way you work it. No, no diggity. To bag it, bag it, I say, I like the way you work it, oh no diggity. She's got class and style, she's madness by the town, say, baby, never act wild, baby, low key on the profile. Catch your feelings, says a no, let me tell you, long it goes. The word spins the verbs, loves and comes over equal. You heard all oh, rolling with the fatness. You don't even know where the half is. You kind of pay to play just for shorty bang bang to look your way. Say you like the way you work it, jumps out all day, every day. You're blowing my mind, baby, in time. Baby, I can get you in my ride. I like the way you work it. No diggity, need a bag it, bag it, I'd say I like the way you work it. No, no diggity, need a bag it, bag it, I'd say I like the way you work it. No diggity, need a bag it, bag it, I'd say you like the way you work it. No, no diggity. Hey, y'all, the girl looks good. My express class in New York City to relax me. What you know about me, not a single thing Cartier wood and frame sported by my shorty Eyes for me, eyes a glimmer, pinky diamond ring Said, we beats the baddest click up on the scene Ain't you getting bored with this fake ass bro? I saw them prove no now and I've been taking you So please excuse me, but come across from the to me And that's how my players got to be Say pick again with a capital G my peoples, I'm a black, I'm a swear I can be with this one Thinking Jack's never been my flavor Teddy Patch, you work to your neck, you're chomping me I've been sitting in your car, let's hear around 3.30 With me and my kids, and you know I like the way you work it No, oh, no, diggity Need a bag it, bag it, I'd say I like the way you work it No, oh, no, diggity Need a bag it, bag it, I'd say I like the way you work it No, no, diggity Bag it, bag it, I'd say you like the way you work No, no, take it Oh, no, take it Oh, no, Oh, they 
Thank you. Hi guys, if you are just joining us tonight, we are here with Zion Aquino. That was No Git Diggity, um, a Black Street cover. Um, your next yeah. song is an original. It's yes, called it Defenseless. It's called Defenseless. Is it is it part of your was it part of your album? It's part of the album that we released 2016. Mm -hmm. um, the album is called Grateful Soul. Yeah. Um, this is the first single that we released um, after the album was launched. Uh, the song was written and produced by my manager, Trina Belamide. What was it like um, writing your album? Because I imagine uh, you were working a corporate job. You must not have been writing a lot of songs on your own. Um, I didn't write a single song in the album, actually. Um, I would write songs, but not in the album. <laughs> For this album, as, as much as it is my album, it yeah. is also Chinya Belamidi's album. Okay. She released this album to celebrate her 25th year anniversary in, in the music industry, or she just tried to look for a reason to get me an album out there. <laughs> That's how much she believed this in me. Are you thinking of having an another album out soon? Right now, I think we're focusing on just releasing one single after another, okay. I th and I think the music industry is kind of going yeah, that direction. Yeah. All right. Um, and are you planning on releasing um, original singles anytime soon? Yes, I think the next one probably might be an original. We don't Ooh, know yet. Exciting. Uh, but but uh, I've been writing, and probably in between singles, we'll release more singles. Yeah, <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. What's writing like for you nowadays? Um, before, when I would write songs, it, it would be very, very personal. Like yeah. Most of the songs I wrote before were all emotionally heartbreaking and... But but right but right after Elements Music Camp, you know, I started learning how to write for other artists. Yeah. So I would try to listen to the songs that they listen to, and then how their tones sound like, and how I see their music. And then right after, you know, I listen to all these things. That's that's the time that I that that they write songs for them. Um, one of the songs that I wrote that was recently released is my good friend Samang uh first. Uh, single, uh, which I also co-wrote with my manager, Trina Belamede. It's called Pagkat Narian Ka, which was um, inspired by his fans. You know, I would see his fans and how they rooted from hi for him during his stint with, with a noontime show, talent show, or competition. And then I, I saw how much they supported him. And that really inspired the song. So I really do background checks to whoever I, I, I write for. That's cool. That's so interesting. That it's not just you as a musician um, performing, but also you writing songs for others. Thanks to Elements Music App. <laughs> <laughs> um, so defenseless. Um, what makes this song special to you? Um, it's it's very edgy. Uh, you know, I like edgy songs. Um, either I sing heartbroken songs <laughs> or <laughs> broken-hearted songs, or I, I sing edge uh, edgier songs. Um, I'm really comfortable doing that and. And I think this is this is one of the songs that you know, when when it was first released, nobody knew that you know it was a Filipino artist singing it. So I was kind of proud of that. All right, go take it take it away. Here's defenseless, and if you guys are you know you have Spotify accounts, please check it out. Time at all. I see 
see it in your eyes How you know that I'm Out of your back and call Oh, I'm in danger Beautiful stranger Winning me over And it's so senseless Cause you're not trying it Yet I'm dying How can I survive when With you I'm defenseless Oh, 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 oh. Try to play it cool. Try to hold my ground. It's like some kind of a fool. I follow you around, standing next to you to get a whip of you. I must be going. In all control of my heart and soul, how good on you so bad. Oh, I'm in danger, beautiful stranger, winning me over, and it's so senseless. Cause you're not trying it, yet I'm dying. How can I survive when? Winning me over And it's so senseless You're not trying it Yet I'm dying Can I survive now? Can I survive? Say I'm in danger Beautiful stranger Winning me over And it's so senseless Cause you're not trying it I'm dying, how can I survive when with you I'm defenseless? Oh, 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 Thank you. Hi, guys. If you are just joining us now, that was Defenseless by Zion Aquino. So, Zion, earlier you were saying you've been using your music to give back, and you actually have a gig later tonight. Right after um, this, I'm going straight to Pioneer Yellow Flame. Uh, there's a fundraising going on right there. It's Valentine's Rack, um, R-A-K which stands for Random Acts of Kindness. Um, uh, they're doing this show to get funds to get the birth certificates of kids without birth certificates. Mm -hmm. That's what they're doing. Um, and if anyone who is watching wants to hear more of your music, uh, where do you have any gigs coming up? Where can they find you on social media? Uh, you guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram. It's at Lion Called Zion. Or you can just search for me on Facebook. It's Zion Aquino, Z-I-O-N, and then Aquino. And then uh, I have a show, I have shows uh, this March, March 3, 
10 and 17, all with Matteo Guidicelli. So I'm going to be guessing for his bar tour. Uh, three in Historia, 10 in Music Hall, and then 17 at 19 East. There. And your last song for us tonight is your newest single. It's a Regine Velasquez cover. Yes, it's a so, Regine Velasquez cover. <laughs> yeah. Why did you choose this song to, to cover? Well, it's interesting. Um, I didn't really pick the song for me. Um, we were looking for a song that will try to showcase the more tender part of my voice. <laughs> Not singing edgier or, or emotional or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, and, and this song was also written by my manager, Tina Velamede. Mm -hmm. And I found challenge in, in doing it. You know, it's, it's hard because it's Regina Velasquez who did yeah. the original. Yeah. And then um, I know there are a lot of fans right out there. So we were just hoping mm -hmm. that, you know, they'd like it. So far, <laughs> so far so good. Uh, and if you guys want to listen to my music, you guys can just... Log on, uh, just check it out on Spotify. Uh, this is Reason Enough, uh, Zion Aquino. Also, my first album there uh, is there, uh, Grateful Soul, Zion Aquino. All right. um, this is Zion's last song for us tonight. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you, Zion, for being here with us tonight. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Mike, for playing with me. <laughs> thank you for <laughs> Thank you. time ago Never again to give my heart away Fell in love with someone who left me in the end The price of love was just too high to pay I thought my life had ended but you came along Showed me how much brighter things could be And now you see I've turned my back On the promise that I made Knowing that your love set me free Cause you are reason enough for me to go on living You are reason enough for me To smile again In a world where hearts are broken Every now and then One finds reason enough to love And I found reason enough in you To love again Love again So here I am all caught up in this newfound love Feeling like I've never felt before Putting my love on the line with you Taking a chance again I'm not afraid to love anymore Cause you are reason enough for me To go on living You are reason enough for me To smile again In a world where hearts are broken Every now and then one finds reason enough to love Like I found reason enough in you To love again Love again You are reason enough for me To go on living You are reason enough for me Smile Find reason enough to 
love Like I found reason enough in you to love again In a world my hearts are broken Every now and then One finds reason enough to love Like I found reason enough in you To love again Love again Thank you guys for watching. Have a great night.